Hi, I'm Kyle Russell from Arkansas Wushu, and a couple of days, or maybe a week or so ago, I was challenged by Gary Gilliam from Kiao Karate to make my Animal Philosophies uh, video, which I made. A lot of people enjoyed it, and he enjoyed it. Um, but I stepped up to his challenge, so today I wanted to issue a challenge back, because I've already got one going with Roger Grimes, and uh, the three of us talked a little bit. He's a really good guy. Um, but he challenged me to do some philosophy and th some stuff outside of what you would normally see in the physical thing. And so now I want to do the same thing back. So today I'm going to uh, go over something we learned outside martial arts that applies to martial arts. And uh, Gary, I want you to do the same thing. What is a life lesson or a lesson that has a hidden meaning in martial arts that you didn't know for a long time until it got pointed out to you? Let us know a concept outside of martial arts that applies to martial arts. The one I'm going to use is an algebra equation. Um, there is an algebraic equation, or not an algebraic equation, I'm sorry, but an algebraic rule that you learned way back in seventh grade that taught you how to fight two people at the same time, and you just didn't realize it. So, tell you a story about my first two-on-one fight. I saw two guys fight two-on-one, or three guys, uh, obviously. Um, guy did it, and I was like, man, I gotta try it. But the only people I had was a black belt and a purple belt, and at that time, I was a yellow belt. And so, I jumped right in the middle of them, thinking if I just get in and take them out fast, I'll stand a chance. No, that was wrong. That, that they, they pummeled me for two minutes straight. I did not land a single hit. And the biggest mistake I made was I kept jumping in the middle of them. Now, if you go back to pre-algebra, basic algebra. There's a rule there that says there's always a straight line between two points. And that is the algebraic rule you need to win in a two-on-one fight. <clears throat> and the reason that works, if you don't think about it, is since there's these two points, you can always keep one in front of the other. And that's how you should fight two people in one. And that's what I did wrong, because there were two people, I jumped in the middle. You've got two hands, two legs. If you jump in the middle, you're fighting four arms and four legs. <clears throat> you literally have to be twice as fast as both of them in order to win in that manner. But if there's one person here and there's another person in front of them, that person can't get, in, get to me because this other person's in the way. So as long as I circle this one person and keep circling them in the opposite direction of the other guy, of his friend... His friend will always be in the way of his attack. And I'll only ever have to fight one person at a time. And that is the trick to fighting two people at the same time. It's to never get in the middle. Remember, there's always a straight line between two points. And keep one point in front of the other at all times. And that's how I used pre-algebra to learn how to fight multiple attackers. Or at least fight two people at the same time. Um, that's my principle for today, and I would like to see Gary from Kia Karate tell us about something he learned maybe in math or in a different class that he was able to apply to his martial arts studies that helped him along his way. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Gary, let's see what you got. Thank you.